Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I'm a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I'm licensed in both California and Oregon. I prepare monthly reports that look at the market trends for 14 communities in what I call the lifestyle artery of Orange County. These communities start in Newport Beach. We have uh, two sections we cover, go through Irvine. Uh, we specifically uh, monitor Turtle Rock and Woodbridge because of their desirability. Then we move into Baker Ranch, Foothill Ranch, Portola Hills, Robinson Ranch, Rancho Cielo, Dove Canyon, Cota de Casa, and Ladera Ranch. As an example, in Ladera Ranch, we break it down into three product segments, condos, single-family homes under 3,250 square feet, and single-family homes over 3,250 square feet. This report is for Cota de Casa, and it's for homes priced from 1 million to 2 million. We call the report Current Market Trends, and we're going to discuss the changes that have occurred over the last 30 days. With a data period of 5-1, that means that we're looking at uh, the data is from January 1st, 2020 through April 30th, 2020, effectively the first four months of the year. And uh, we're really going to be talking about the first, first month, the impacts of uh, the stay-at-home order. And it would make sense to start that conversation with what's going on with new listings. Without listings, we can't have contracts. Without contracts, we can't have closings. As you can see here, there was a very sharp decline in new listings. And that is really only possibly described as abnormal market activity. When we go to a, a seller or buyer um, consultation, uh, invariably one of the very first questions we get asked and need to answer is, are we in a buyer or seller's market? And Chapman University defines a buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. And what they have found uh, with 30 some years of data is that when inventory levels hit 3.5 months and maintain that for a couple of months, uh, price, uh, prices are going to start to drop a little bit. Coder de Casa is riding just underneath that 3.5 market uh, level, and so it's currently a seller's market. The next question we need to address is what's going on in our neighborhood? What's what's the competition? Uh, how difficult is it going to be to sell? And in the case of Cota de Casa at the moment, there are 39 active listings. There were 60 new listings over the past 90 days. 27 of those are still on the market. And there were nine new listings in the last 30 days, basically in April during the lockdown. So what is really going on in the market? The market has three key activities, new listings, contracts written, and closing. Without new contracts, the other two can't, or without new listings, the other two cannot occur, and without a contract, a closing can occur. There's a lag between new listings to contracts. Roughly, w w we'd like to see it in the 30 to 45 day range, and closings follow contracts. Uh, normally 35 days. Right now lenders are having some problems and so we may be 40-45 days for a short while. Uh, as it relates to Coda de Casa, you're currently 3% below 2019 activity for new listings, which isn't bad, but you can see with the fall off here that all happened during the month of April. January and February started off strong. There was nothing wrong with March. All three good months, but the, the big lag in uh, 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 April has hurt the standing. We'd like to point out, we don't want to be negative, and so we'd like to point out some positive things. Fannie Mae is a major uh, economic forecasting, market activity forecasting, our um, 
institution we need to pay attention to. And, and in the middle of April, they forecast very strong recovery in the third and fourth quarters. Those of us who track the data kind of see the momentum building. And we're, I personally am referring to it as a, a slingshot recovery. There are a few others who tend to agree with. The next discipline is contracts written. Uh, right now, Coder de Cause is running 22% behind uh, 2019, but it should be pointed out 2019 was a very uh, strong year. So I'm um, looking at this part of the graph right here. I am not terribly concerned about that. But contracts follow listings. We saw f listings fall off at some point. Uh, even though we have a fair amount of in stock out there, uh, we're going to lose uh, contracts written. Closings are important and the whole, whole purpose of the business. Uh, right now, Kodo's running 10% behind 2019. Again, 2019 was a good year. And remember, um, strong third and fourth quarters, quite possibly a slingshot recovery since there's usually very quiet activity in the fall and early winter. Uh, it's not inconceivable that this area here in the summer becomes somewhat stagnant, but we should be able to have the resources to recover in the fall. Pricing is always an important question. Right now, Kodo is running th three tenths of a percent above last year's pricing, and that's actually big improvement because in our report 30 days ago uh, pricing was down 1.8 percent so you're really looking at uh, um, almost a 2 percent recovery in pricing over the last 30. The other thing is uh, the average uh, asking price for all active listings is a million four twenty three with a range from a million fifty to a million nine 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 summary of the closings over the last 90 days would show that there have been 27 closings. 17 of those have sold below. Three of those have sold at last list and seven of those have sold above last list price. Days on market is an important component. It affects how sellers price. Uh, somebody that has to get out of town to a new job in 30 days really may have to under underprice their home to sell. Uh, it, so it becomes an important factor in uh, uh, the inventory levels and buyer seller market equation. Currently, the average homes, the average days on market for the home all active listings is 70 days. Uh, the average days on market for those homes that closed early in the year was 46, so you can see there's quite a differential there. And uh, that's partially also displayed here. Uh, the, the DOM days on market in our last report was 52 days, so we've gained uh, almost 20 days, gained 18 days. As mentioned, inventory is a multifaceted statistic. Uh, the month of inventory 3.4 shows uh, quickly approaching the buyer's market side of uh, the ledger. Uh, inventory did go up 11.4 percent over the last 90 days. It's down 13 percent on a year-over-year -year basis and comparing April's last year to this year uh, inventory is down 15 percent. One of the services we provide on our website is a direct link to the MLS. We have pre-saved searches for the 14 different communities, market segments that we um, do these reports for. This is a map of Coder de Casa. If you go to our website, joe-richter.com, and click on the predefined community listings, you'll see a link there for Coder de Casa. You'll have a nice map like this. And in, in addition to the map, you will have uh, thumbnails of all the listings. This is a direct link, so if you want to see this active listing, it's green, it's active. Click on it, and you'll see all the detail behind it. If you want to see what's sold, 
click on any of the reds and you can see how long they were on the market and all those kinds of things. In our reports you will also see uh, the current active listings. Actually Kodo usually has more than this. And these are the closings that have occurred this year. Um, as the year progresses you can see we're almost out of uh, pay, um, room on this sheet so it'll be two maybe three pages by the end of the year. Here is a graph of the closings and what you're really looking at here uh, if you look at this red dot that's the actual close price this was the original list price this little dot here uh, so when you see this con collection uh, you're looking at original list close price should be something here here's uh, here's one nope should be some around occasionally you see some where the price well here's one nope now it looks like pretty much everything went down in price to close. And so, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, we hope uh, with the level of detail we've presented here, the thoroughness of our investigation, that you can see we have uh, the background, the experience, the technical experience, as, as well as the personal experience to be your real estate agent. We know market timings, we know neighborhood values, we know marketing strategies, and we know all of the te technicalities that you have to go through uh, regarding paperwork and those kinds of things. To help you take advantage of any market condition to help you sell your house. And for you buyers who are wondering where in the heck you're going to start, you now know we have market knowledge for all of South Orange County. We can help you identify the best neighborhood and help you find the right home for the next phase of your life. So please, whether you're a buyer or a seller, contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. Thank you very much.